Growing on Instagram is incredibly simple. New accounts are started every single day and they grow very fast. And with TikTok being potentially banned, it's never been more important to have a presence on Instagram. I used to run an agency dedicated to helping Instagram pages grow and the game really hasn't changed all that much. If anything, it's only gotten easier and I'll explain why. You have something that you wanna build, a business, a brand, personal brand. There's something that you wanna share and every single day when you go on Instagram, you see people living their dream lives, making millions of dollars all through content on that. That platform. And there's only a few things they're doing differently than what you currently are doing that dictates their success and your lack of it. And I think after this video, you're going to be shocked how simple it really is to grow and be blown away by the results that you do see if you put what I say into action. So let's get into it. So I know already, if you click this video, this is definitely not the first video like this that you've watched. I'm willing to bet you've watched a ton. And ironically, that's one of the main reasons that you're not growing on Instagram. Everyone is guilty of this at some point, but watching content like this is one of the biggest traps for people that actually want to grow on social media. The problem with this is, is you convince yourself that you're being productive by watching content like this. Because in theory, you know exactly what to do. So it feels almost as good as doing it, but there's no risk of not actually getting the success that you want. Knowing what to do and knowing the theory behind it won't help you hit your goals. Content will. I'm sure you have someone in your life who talks about all the things that they're going to do, but never actually does them. It's because talking about it feels almost as good, but they go nowhere. If you want to grow, you have to start posting content. There's no other way around it. And I only include that in this video because I'm shocked by how many people come to watch these videos, but they've never even posted a piece of content or they haven't posted one in months or years. So that's the first thing that I need to shatter here in this video for you is that fear or that anticipation. And something that helps me a lot is understanding that fear or anticipation only lies in between actions. So the longer that you let something sit, the more that you think about it, the more that you let anticipation and fear grow. Not to mention, the more time that you spend learning, the higher your expectations are going to be for yourself, making it even more unrealistic for yourself. The solution, just post something today. Post your first video. If you haven't posted in a while or you've never posted, post something. Remove the fear and the anxiety by getting anything out there. You're going to realize that nothing changes and you can get into that flow of actually creating content, which will take you where you want to go. And now that you've overcome the fear of posting, we now need to build a routine for you to post content consistently because that is crucial for getting good at creating content and getting to where you want to go. We're going to build the habit of creating. The most popular book on habits ever called Atomic Habits has a very powerful quote. You do not rise to the level of your goals. You fall to the level of your habits. So if you have high goals on social media, your habits have to match that. Time needs to be consistently blocked off to create and publish content weekly. Pick a number for yourself for how often you're going to be posting per week. Make this number challenging, but achievable. To make this way more successful, think about what actually motivates you. For me, it's head to head competition. So if there's something I really want to achieve, I will create some sort of challenge with someone else to ensure that I stay accountable. You know, you're better than anyone else, what actually gets you motivated? What's going to keep you to this goal? Set up yourself for success, set up your systems for the goals that you actually want to achieve. You need to treat yourself like an artist and the best artists do their thing all the time, even when they don't feel like it. Prime example is one of the most famous comedians of all time, Jerry Seinfeld. I use this example all the time because it is just so powerful. He forced himself to write jokes every single day, even if he didn't feel like it. And that habit just became a thing that then led to some of the best material and the most successful show in TV history. And none of that would have been possible if he didn't create a habit that was in alignment with where he wanted to go, which is exactly what you need to do if you want to grow. So the lesson here is to build the habits that allow you to post and to post a lot, whatever that looks like for you. With the increase in pure algorithm based feeds and more short form video content, gone are the days where you have to worry about fatiguing your audience or getting penalized by Instagram for one post not doing well. It really all comes down to content and consistency. And you only figure out what good content looks like through being consistent and getting enough out there to get a feel for what your audience wants and to get better at creating in general. You have to get the reps in and the sooner you do, the sooner you get better. So push through that initial cringe. It does get better fast. And the beautiful thing about Instagram is that no one's going to go back and look at your old, old content anyways. Once you've established your tone and your voice, you can leave it there if you want, but no one's really going to see it because it is a constant influx of new content. So take all of your early posts as tests and experiments and don't tie too much of your self-worth into their performance. 
You're just here for learning right now. But this habit, this focus on creation has to be your North Star if you want to grow on Instagram. It has to be priority number one. So we here at Flick follow all of Instagram's public communications. And a recurring theme that we see across all of their stuff is how important community is for them. And this is because Instagram's able to track everything across their platform. So they see where people are spending time within their app and more time is being spent in DMs and more community driven features. So they're making that more of a priority because their audience is spending more time there. And since all of this stuff is being tracked, you can use this to your advantage to give Instagram a way better idea faster of who you are and more importantly, who you are creating content for. Whenever I started a new Instagram account, I would train the algorithm to teach them these things. Even if you have no followers and you're starting from scratch, you still have the ability to like content, comment on content and send DMs. Use those strategically to connect with the right people and train the algorithm by giving them way more trackable information as to who you are trying to reach and who you are. All of this stuff is tracked. So all these relationships that you're building in a targeted way is only gonna help you down the line with who they show your content to later. Because if you know who you're trying to reach, you know the other pages that they follow and interact with. And that's a gold mine for you. Go into these communities, be authentic, but spend time building real relationships. All of this track data is only gonna help you grow faster. And this is most crucial when you are new or starting from scratch, because the faster that you can give Instagram a clear picture of who you are and what your goals are, the faster it's gonna happen. But find these people, interact with their content, build true relationships, provide value. Do that daily early on and you're gonna grow way faster. So views don't actually equal followers, especially not like they used to. It's shocking how many pages get a ton of views and don't get a ton of followers. It's the way things have gone with algorithm driven content. If you don't have the ability to convince someone to follow you, they're just not going to do it. And the chances of them seeing your future content goes down over time. So it's incredibly important for you to speak directly to your ideal people and have a deep understanding of who they are. So you know exactly what they're looking for. So when they come to your page or they find your content, they know exactly where they are. They know that they're in the right place and they know that they should sign up for more. And so the lesson here is to obsess over your audience, over your desired audience, speak their language, be relatable, use their memes, leverage culture, the subculture that this group of people has to your advantage. We want them to know instantly they're in the right place and that they can expect this kind of content moving forward, which is exactly why they should click that follow button. So by being deliberate about all the touch points you have, including your caption section, your bio, your pin stories, all of these little things do matter to convey a message to the right people as quickly as possible to increase the chances of how many people actually will click the follow button. It really matters over time, so definitely play around with the stuff, but obsess over your ideal viewer and constantly create and communicate for them. To grow a valuable audience from zero, you have to achieve three things. You need to make your audience know, like, and trust you. And too many people only obsess over the no part. And that's a massive reason why people struggle with converting into followers and later into business. So we wanna achieve all three. We wanna get people to know us, then to like us, and then to trust us. That is the absolute goal on social media. If you achieve that, your audience becomes so much more valuable. And so we achieve this by creating content that achieves those three different things. If you're brand new, of course, you need to get people to know you in the first place. And the best way to create content that will get people to discover you is by going to proven content formats, content topics, and just stuff that you know people like. Similar kinds of videos go viral all the time. And it's pretty simple as to why people like what they like. And you can leverage that like crazy to grow way faster. Go find the content that is trending right now. Instagram gives you tools within the app to show you this. Study your competitors, see what videos are working disproportionately well for them. Emulate the same concepts with your own unique spin and milk these proven concepts because if they work for someone else, they're very likely to work for you. Put your own sauce on it and take advantage. That'll make content ideas a lot easier. It'll also help you achieve the whole no factor. But for like and trust, I strongly recommend you experiment with completely unique content types and formats that are completely your own. So your own ideas, your own approach to it, completely you, your own unique everything. This is the best way to go really deep and create a unique advantage for yourself on Instagram or any platform. Because once you create a new trend or a new kind of content, anybody who may copy that is just a watered down version of you and people will always want to go direct to the source. So to achieve the like and trust, be unique, be yourself. A winning content strategy includes proven topics to go viral and get as many people to know you as possible, of course, with your own sauce, coupled with completely unique content types and formats 
that are exclusive to you to build that like and trust factor. Stuff that they can't get anywhere else. And you can find proven ideas through right on Instagram. Go to the Reels tab and see what's trending. Study your competitors, study the market. You'll see what is performing better than average posts. And also use other platforms. Like if something worked really well on YouTube or Twitter, chances are that concept is also going to work on Instagram. Consistently, some of the best performing content on Instagram is recycled tweets. People like what they like. And make it a priority to experiment with your own kind of content and understand it's not likely going to go viral, especially not quickly, but it could be what changes the game for you and creates an irreplaceable brand, which is what most people are striving for. And they don't have the courage or the patience to create unique content, so they never actually get there. They're just watered down versions of a hundred other pages. If you want more tips like this, watch this video right here where I share five things that you can do today that will help you grow faster on Instagram. Go ahead and click that. I will see you over there and I'll see you on Instagram.